Hi, my name is Matthew McLoyne, and I played the role of Tip the Chihuahua in the Kennedy Center's production of Unleashed, The Secret Lives of White House Pets. I am first Chihuahua, el primer Chihuahua. In order to become a Chihuahua, which was a lot of fun, um, I studied a lot of different things. Um, the first place I went to was, was the internet and I just kind of clicked in Chihuahua and I found a lot of videos of watching Chihuahuas and what Chihuahuas do and the way that they move around. And the funny thing about Chihuahuas, and you probably can already tell the Chihuahuas, it's the smallest dog um, that there is and they tend to move around really quickly and when they, when they look at things or are looking around and they're very, they get very excited very easily and because they're kind of smaller, I kind of brought my, my arms in like this and my feet in like this and when I jump around on things, I would kind of make fast movements. So you can see that that's how, you know, that was kind of where I started. Um, I was also really lucky enough to get to meet two chihuahuas because there was a show going on here at the Kennedy Center in another one of the theaters and they had two live chihuahuas that they used and so the actress who played Alistair, uh, her name is Jessica, the two of us went over and sat down with the little dogs and we watched them move around and they were really really cute um, and one of them one of them even got sick while we were there and even though that was kind of sad it, it, was, it was interesting for me to watch. Like, they only got a little bit sick. They just kind of uh, threw up just a little bit. And they were fine. But in the show, I have to pretend to throw up. So, so I stole uh, some of the things that I saw from the, from the little chihuahua when he got sick. And there's this little thing that he would and kind of his whole body would do that. So, so I used that, so it was helpful to get to meet real chihuahuas, too. When I play Tip, the Chihuahua, and I come and I actually do the show. Um, it's very important that before a show, I, I warm up my body and I do, I do lots of stretches and I sort of walk around the stage a lot and, and, I, and I also work my, my voice a bit too because my normal speaking voice is, is a little bit lower than, 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 where, than where Tip kind of speaks. He's kind of up here and he's kind of fast. So you, in order to talk that way, a lot you kind of have to warm up a bit and um, and then when actually doing the show and being on the stage and running around uh, everyone on stage sweats a lot um, and it really is kind of like going to the gym in the morning doing this because because as you know normal people we walk on two legs and we're not used to crawling around like this all the time and if you did this for even only five minutes and you walked around you would feel your legs really starting to to burn a lot and you'd get a really good workout it's really it's really good exercise um, but yes it's it's very tiring um, and especially moving the buggy around the buggy was also very difficult uh, to move it's very heavy but another good thing is that as tip I was able to to stand up on on two legs and walk around and then kind of sit up um, and that was kind of the fun about studying dogs and watching what they do because dogs don't always just walk around on all fours they sit certain ways and they'll sometimes go up a little bit and they'll come down so um, yeah, it's very, very fun. In fact, in fact, you should try it just to see how well you can imitate certain dogs, I would say, because all dogs are different. The Chihuahua is the one that moves around really fast and talks kind of high, but if you're imitating a beagle like they have um, in the show as well, they're a, little, they're a little bit gruffer and lower and oh, oh, a different kind of bark sound. Doing this production, I learned a lot about about movement in general and how we look at people and animals and how sometimes they're not all that different. I cannot help it if I dance these men. I am Russian after all. And all is fair in love and war, especially cold war. I have not played an animal before, but I am getting ready to play another animal very soon in another show 
and ironically I'm going to be playing a crocodile and if you saw the show you saw that there is an alligator in the show So I might even steal some things from the way that he moved around. Um, but that, I'll probably do the same thing. I will, um, for my research, I will go online and look at pictures of crocodiles, maybe even read books about crocodiles, videos, all of those things, and, and watch the way that they move. And sometimes using your imagination really is the best place to start with these things. If you think about what a crocodile does and how it's kind of, it moves a little bit more slowly, that might be a good place to start. And then just moving around the room and, and, and doing that and see also how it, how it affects your voice and, and where you might go if you're a crocodile. Very different than where you might go if you're a chihuahua. When I know I'm going to be playing a person, an actual human being, sometimes part of my exploration that I do in becoming that character is imagining what kind of animal that person would be. And we're very fortunate to have so many types of animals and so many directions we can go in. If we think of, for instance, a peacock, the kind of very full of pride and big chested and there are people who, who walk around like this and maybe someone who's very rich and dignified um, or, or a dog or a snake and how that causes us to move a little bit more um, I, I don't know the word for it I only know that this is what it does when I think of, of snake um, and how some people sort of move that way when they do certain things so it is it's a lot of fun to tie in these animal traits and these characteristics into human beings. And then also that turns into other qualities that we think of. So not necessarily playing an animal, but thinking about a quality, quality excuse me, such as um, light on air, or if it's very heavy, or if someone walks kind of tilted over. It's, it's very interesting to study different people and, um, and what actors do a lot is, um, is watching people. You'll learn a lot just sitting down in a mall or, or on the street, um, sitting down in a, in a busy part of town and watching people move. It's very, very interesting. You can learn a lot about people that way.